The sports you know and the players you love. This is the Kinnipass Valley Sports Show with your host, Ryan Coon. We are back for our final segment with John Gadat, well-versed in radio, CWU, and finally, Kittitas High School. You know, you, know, you know what I love about John Gadat is he didn't even go to Kittitas High School. He went to Federal Way High School, home of the Eagles, and I've never seen him in a Federal Way shirt, hat, shorts, whatever. I mean, <laughs> what, I've, got what, old, I've got some old jerseys and, and T-shirts boxed up up in the attic when I want to live, relive the glory years. But no, I don't wear them around town very much. But, I mean, after after graduating and uh, leaving the Daily Record, he's just embraced Kittitas like he loves the place. I, uh, I can tell you, Kittitas graduating class of 40-some-odd kids every year, um, those are smaller than some of my classrooms that I had at Bedway High School, so totally different. Totally different change of pace that I immediately embraced. <coughs> I mean, me, immediately embraced. It was. It's a. It's an awesome place. What? Like, when did you really embrace Kittitas High School? I can tell you the first time I was at on campus was, uh, um, uh, winter two thousand. So it just turned two thousand, and a buddy of mine, who um, kind of was a volunteer coach as we went through school together, uh, through Central together. He told me to come out to a place called Kittitas to watch a watch some basketball, and uh, they were playing Manson, and the boys went into four overtimes. Um, so that was my very first, very first Kittitas game. I I do remember we we lost, but it took four overtimes for for uh, Manson to beat us, and that was the same. They had retired Byron Beck's jersey that night, so my oh, wow. first. My first kid at task game was one that I'll never, never forget. Boys going into four overtimes. Byron Beck, uh, you know, kid at task kid who ended up being an NBA player, uh, with getting, the, his, uh, with getting his jersey with the, retired. Uh, Denver Nuggets, right? What's that? With the Denver Nuggets, right? Denver Nuggets, baby. Yeah. Move um, over Michael Porter Jr. It's all about Byron Beck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm all about Byron Beck, and, and who's still a kid at task supporter from his home in, in Tri Cities. So, um, uh, yeah, that was my. That was my first foray into Kittitas sports. That's good. Um, and then when did you, I mean, you, so you really, you started going to games and, I mean, you're a fan. Just talk about this fandom and, I mean. Uh, I'm a fan and I think that's always, when I covered Kittitas, um, you know, when I first started working at the Day of the Record, memor- uh, right before Memorial Day of 2000, um, so mid-May 2000, I, I got the job and my first big assignment was covering Kittitas track. Uh, at, at state championships at Eastern where the Kittitas girls won. And so there's always been success at some level from Kittitas. And, and I love all the teams. When, when Even when Thorpe and Easton had uh, sports teams, I just got behind every one. And obviously Ellensburg and Cleelum, but Kittitas has been home for me for, for uh, 16 years now. And uh, I just, um, I connect well with all of the schools, but, you know, Kittitas is now home for me. And I just, again, immediately struck by, you know, the community shuts down for its sports, um, uh, lots of volunteerism. It's just, it's really fun. And we've been blessed with some great teams, be it, you know, girls basketball a decade ago, boys basketball obviously is in a, um, you know, a run that uh, will probably never be matched again. Um, you know, kid test football is, um, you know, has some highs and lows, but you know, makes the state playoffs, um, you know, relatively consistently and stuff. And, um, you know, kid has baseball going to state, it, it's softball track, everything. I just, I just love the teams. Love you, the you, you wish you went to kid at that high school, don't lie. Uh, you know, I, I <laughs> it would have been fun, uh, definitely being in a huge school like Federal Way High School. And my wife went to Ike and in Yakima. I mean, we, there were some opportunities at big schools that you can't get at a small school, but. Um, we love our girls to be in the Kittitas yeah. School District. Um, they're going to be, they're going to be shown opportunities um, that my wife and I never would have experienced in in a in a big school too. So, um, you know, obviously Kittitas Sports gets a lot, a lot of attention, but FCCLA is incredible. Four um, H is incredible. So, I could go on and on. You know, my my first real um, in depth view of Kittitas High School. 
had to be their boys basketball team, Brock Rivet's freshman year. You know, I walk on the court, I meet Tim Rivet, who's a character himself. I mean, mm-hmm. we'll probably have him on here more more than once. And, uh, you know, just Brock, he, he didn't play like a freshman. He played like a, a college kid in the way he held himself. And, I mean, that, that outside shot has just been amazing. So... Uh, I mean, that was just following them the, the last three years has just been a lot of fun for me. I mean, you know, because you know the grind of covering prep sports yep. and just talk about your view of that amazing basketball, you know, run and back to back state championships. You know, you and I have talked about it, uh, you know, off the record or in private and stuff like that. And, and you talk about it with community members, and then you and I have been involved with. You know the compu- uh, the community celebrations with Kittitas, and and the thing that I always come back to is, you know, we're adults, and you know, part of the uh, part of the responsibility of an adult, or in my case as a parent as well, is is motivate and inspire and teach your kids the right thing. But I'm not embarrassed to say that I am very much motivated and inspired, and I learn a lot of things from these high school kids who are not even half my age, who are showing maturity that. Uh, not a lot of adults, um, not a lot of adults have, or or at least they didn't have at you know, 15 to 18 years old. I, at least I know I didn't. And you know, specific things. I, I'm thinking of a game. You know, I, I I won't talk about the team, but I'm thinking about a game where the opposing team was clearly clearly taking cheap shots at Brock, um, clearly taking cheap shots in the paint, um, and we never lost our cool and. Uh, to me that's just that's just something i don't know if you can coach that i don't know if you can teach that but it's just something that that you have um it's definitely something that the team has and um you know brock deserves all the attention he gets um but the team itself we have an incredible an incredible team we have such incredible talent and maturity on the team are they perfect no way I'm sure their parents could tell you that maybe they don't clean their rooms or they're slow to do homework chores or something like that. But it's amazing what these kids are faced because every team that goes against Kittitas, this is their state championship. And so you know you're going to get the best effort out of every team no matter what. And when the chip, you know, as, you know, when they're getting down and getting beat and stuff like that, teams will resort to maybe some rough play or, or foul play, I guess you want to say. Um, and we always rise above it and um, or pick our battles when we need to in terms of if you need to seriously defend your teammates or defend your school or defend your turf, uh, we do that, and we do that in an appropriate way. And so um, it just uh, the basketball talent is incredible, but the, the maturity and the life experience that these kids seem to have at such a young age is pretty inspiring. Kittitas bas- Boys Basketball, one loss in the last two seasons, back-to-back state championships. They have to be the favorites this year. I, I think so. Uh, I mean, it'll be interesting to see uh, what we do with uh, with uh, my main man, Connor Brown, uh, gone, and I believe off to uh, basic training in Army now, but uh, Cole Linehan is going to fill that role pretty well. I mean, obviously a little bit of a different body makeup, a different player and stuff like that in terms of different strengths and weaknesses, but when you know you're only losing one starter and you're going to bring four starters and a couple of great reserves back, um, I, I got to imagine that we're going to be strong. Um, you mentioned like, like that one loss, and can't believe I'm giving my father-in-law props, but uh, he's a Zilla alum. But I want to see that Zilla game on the schedule again. I want to see an incredible non-league schedule uh, to prepare us for those um, those hard teams, those big games to prepare us for February and March. Well, apparently they're going to uh, Tampa Bay or something for a four-game, a two-game tournament that Tim Rivet got them. So you better get your swim swimsuit ready. Hey, I'm that. ready, man. I'm ready. I'll be in beach form uh, and ready to do that. So, um, and that su- that does not surprise me one bit. John Gadad, Kittitas Coyote fan. Um, well, before we go, before we, I got to ask the whole Yotes thing. What, what is that? Of it? I mean, the what? The Yotes. What? It, what? It, what is it? Coyotes, yotes? baby. Uh, no, no. It's a. It's a. Yotes. It says on the. It says on the board. Kid, it has coyotes. What is a yote? There's the dictionary version or the dictionary pronunciation, but in K Town we say yotes. We say coyotes, 
and uh, we will politely correct those that say coyotes. I will never say yotes until Tim Reve or one of the other uh, coaches puts yotes or coyotes on their jersey. We're gonna. So t- we'll. we'll uh, you better make that happen. I think we're gonna tattoo that on your back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and on that <laughs> note, we will uh, leave you and uh, John, get out, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, this is fun. We, we got to do this again. We're gonna do it again. I guarantee it. All right, we'll be right back with my send out and uh, these messages. Welcome back to the Good Dads Valley Sports Show. My name is Ryan Keenan, and I want to send a special thank you to our guest today, John Gadat. We look forward to having many guests like John on the show who know everything from Clay Allen Roslin to Ellensburg to Kittitas to CW Athletics. For those who are interested in sponsoring or advertising with this event, please contact Robin Smith and she will reach out to you. Again, my name is Ryan Kuhn and remember, it's what you do before the season starts that really makes a champion. Good night, everybody. Thank you.